Okay, let's see if we can do a video on how to put one of these car kits together. Uh, what comes in the, the kit would be a pre-cut blank of wood. It's been pre-drilled for the mounting of the motor and the holes. Five holes to mount the armature wires, or the battery wires. A pair of battery boxes. These are drilled to the, almost the bottom with a Forstner bit. An aluminum carrier for a set of wheels. It's been dented and the axles have sharp points on them so that these will fit in. A little bit of spring to the, the aluminum and they'll spin nicely. So those will get mounted onto the car. But we'll start by mounting the motor on the car. So I'm going to flip it upside down and put it in this vise. And that will just hold it in the right spot so I don't move out of camera range. This is a half inch pan head sheet metal screw. I find it works well. I've pre-drilled the bottom of the motor holder. And that gets fastened to the car. Not too tight at this point. We're going to have to do some adjusting later. Then the back wheels get mounted to the back of the car. And I suppose if you wanted to go modern, you could make this a front wheel drive car by just putting the rubber band to the front instead of the back. Back wheels are going to get mounted back here. And it doesn't matter which side the grooved wheel goes on for now. We can always turn it around. Front wheels get mounted to the front of the car. Number six by half inch pan head screw, sheet metal screw. I know we're going into wood, but it works nicely. Now the magnets are going to get mounted here and here on either side of the armature. We'll put the armature in, make sure it spins nicely. So we're going to put a set of magnets on here. These are already hot glued to a set of triangular wooden blocks. And those are going to get glued into the car at either end of the armature. So let's see if my hot glue gun is hot. Nope, not yet. Okay, I think the hot glue gun is hot now. So we'll put some glue on the bottom of the magnet and block. Stick that down and make sure that it's clear of the armature so the armature can spin. Let the glue cool. Glue the other one on the other end. They don't have to be real tight to the armature. In fact, it seems that if they're backed off just a little bit, the motor runs better. And I've still got room to, to angle the wheels for steering and rubber band alignment. So we're good there. Now we can put the battery boxes on the back of the car. Now where you put these is totally up to you, but it is important that if it's pre-drilled for the on-off switch that that gets mounted vertically. I'm going to stick it down here like that. I think it looks pretty nice. This one's got a better